Hey everybody, it's Jeff from New York. I'm here in beautiful Atlantic City on a beautiful day. In the middle of this whole series, I'm doing the restaurants of all the hotels and casinos here in town. I just left, I'm in the Marina District by the way, I just left Paris, did the restaurants over there. Heading over to the Golden Nugget, there's a beautiful boardwalk skyline behind me. I know it's a little windy, so let's get inside so the wind noise doesn't bother you anymore. Come on, let's go to Golden Nugget. So again, this is a series of all the restaurants in every hotel and casino here in town. So far, we covered the Tropicana, Bally's, Hard Rock, Ocean, and Borgata. Today, it's the Golden Nugget, and shortly soon hereafter will be Harrah's. Uh, let's see, Harrah's Resorts and Caesars, and that's going to tie up all the restaurants here in the hotels and casinos. And as with the other videos in this series, wherever I have eaten, I'll show you short clips of uh, some of the food that I had at these restaurants. And if you want to check out all the videos here in this series, I made it easy for you guys by creating a playlist for the series here on the New York channel. So just check out that playlist. You'll see all the hotels and casinos and their restaurants. This here is the deck at Golden Nugget, one of my favorite hangouts in the summertime. Obviously, it's a little desolate right now. You'll see a summertime clip uh, coming up shortly right on the marina here. Fantastic times in the summertime. Well, again, one of my favorite places in Atlantic City to hang out in the summertime when I'm looking to do a little drinking, a little you know finger food type of food, and uh, some live entertainment. Great entertainment here as well. Hey, if you're hanging out at the deck in the summertime and you see someone who looks like like Jeff from New York, it most likely is, so say hi. During this visit, I was here with some friends. We ordered some coconut shrimp, some uh, nachos with some queso, and some uh, peel and eat shrimp, and of course, some beers and cocktails. This was a different visit. Did I mention I come to the deck quite often? This was during the week, so it was a little bit more quieter. This lunch was a little bit more substantial. It was a chicken breast with some uh, bacon. I believe it was chipotle sauce, some fries. I uh, really did enjoy the lunch as well. We'll head inside now. By the way, there, these kiosks here with all these pamphlets are great. If you're in town for several days and you're looking for things to do, maybe outside a casino or a hotel here in Atlantic City, tons of places to visit here in southern New Jersey, and these uh, pamphlets have a lot of coupons as well. The chart house is directly above the deck here at the Golden Nugget, and unfortunately it was closed when I was recording this, but I'll show you a couple of still photos. It's a great place for dinner and fantastic views not only of the marina directly outside but the uh, Atlantic City skyline in the background as well. And if you're not that hungry, well, it's a fantastic place for cocktails as well. The Chart House is also known for its fantastic happy hour with some light food fare as well as an awesome wine selection. Now we'll take this little pedestrian bridge from what I call the Marina Building over to the main hotel and casino here at the Golden Nugget. Elegant and intimate, Vic and Anthony's is the place to be when you're on a winning streak and looking for a winning steak. The award-winning menu features USDA prime grain-fed beef, fresh seafood, and an extensive wine collection.
Directly ahead is a pedestrian bridge that brought us to the marina building and the Chart House restaurant. Next up, we have the buffet here at the Golden Nugget, which has been closed since the pandemic. No idea what's going on over there. But we also have Michael Patrick's Brasserie here as well. Last I checked, Michael Patrick's is open 24-7. I uh, stopped in here once for a late night snack one night while I was uh, staying here at the Golden Nugget. Now, I only ate once here at Michael Patrick's, and my meal was pretty much uninspiring. It was a late night meal, really, and it's something that a, you know, a frat member would order after a night of drinking. <laughs> that wasn't my deal, but I'm just telling you, it was that kind of a meal. I ordered mozzarella sticks and an individual pizza. Nothing really gourmet, and I have to tell you guys, it was pretty horrible. The food tasted like it came out of the freezer, into the microwave, and onto my table. And as far as my pizza, well, I just want to give you guys a warning, it's not a pretty sight. The dough was awful, it had holes or perforations poked into it to heat it up faster. The uh, tomato sauce, there was like half a teaspoon of tomato sauce on this pie. The mozzarella was just dumped in the center and the basil, well, the basil looks like it's been in the kitchen for quite a while. This is perhaps the saddest looking, worst tasting pizza I have ever eaten. Just off the uh, front desk area here at the Golden Nugget is a retail casual restaurant corridor. Uh, on the other side of this is the casino, so you can enter th either through this corridor or through the casino to get into these shops and restaurants. This is the chocolate box, and I'm not really a candy person, but I am a sucker for some good chocolate. Here we have Bill's Bar and Burger, where you can pick up a burger, shake, and some fries. That is when the place is open. It's only open on weekends, at least right now it is. Uh, Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays. As with most of the restaurants here at the Golden Nugget, they do have limited hours, so I would give them a call if you plan on visiting any of them, especially during the week and especially off season. And here we have the casino side of Bill's Bar and Burger, as well as the chocolate box. One of the newer restaurants here at the Golden Nugget is Dos Caminos, a uh, very nice Mexican restaurant. I haven't eaten here yet, but I do like the atmosphere. This used to be a restaurant, I believe it was called The Grotto. It's right off the casino and the hotel lobby. I do like Mexican food, and this is one of those restaurants that I really want to try here at the Golden Nugget. This and the Vic and Anthony's Happy Hour, and uh, I need to book a room here. It's been a while since I stayed here at Golden Nugget. I don't get comps here, I don't gamble here, so I don't come here that often, but uh, I really do want to try this place out. From what I understand and looking at the menu here, it's a little bit pricey for Mexican food, but it might be good. It might be worth it. You never know. Don't forget to subscribe to the New York channel if you haven't done so already. It's super easy. Just click on that little logo in the lower right hand corner of your screen and boom, you are subscribed. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up as well. I do appreciate that. And if you'd like to support the New York channel, then click on that thanks button right underneath the video. I do appreciate your support, guys. And as always, where there's a casino, there's an Asian restaurant, and here at the Golden Nugget, it's called Lily's. Lily's offers up not only some great noodle dishes, but soups and salads, as well as sushi and sashimi. Finally, if you go downstairs here at the Golden Nugget, you'll come across Bean and Bread. It's kind of like a grab-and-go. It's right on the way to the uh, parking garage, so it's pretty convenient, and they have quite a good selection down here.